What's up everyone? DBD here and welcome back to State of Decay 2. It is the night of day 2, we are playing as Tyrone. Check the pinned comment down below for the word of the day and a health cookie. Alright, so, our plan for today. I was thinking a little bit while I was editing the other episode. We're not allowed to have any health boosts in the survivors that we choose and in the survivors that we recruit. However, we are allowed to have the fighting gym and we're allowed to have allied enclaves that provide the active benefit of boosted HP. Now, obviously, getting that enclave benefit is kind of up to random chance, but the fighting gym is something that we can start working on today to give ourselves that extra survivability boost in the future. That 20 HP that it gives is invaluable. It can keep you alive sometimes. So for today, we're going to work on getting that. So, let me figure out our next move. Alright, so we're gonna need a radio tower outpost. The only issue is none of the other radio towers on the map are available to immediately claim. All of them are in plague territory, and I don't feel like fighting a heart. So we're gonna claim this outpost right here. Right here. And we're going to use that signal tower to disrupt the plague hearts as we journey through plague territory. I don't know if we'll find anything here. Okay, running on empty. Food review. It's a, it's a detour, but we don't get those quests too often, so we'll bang that out. At least for yeah, now. New outpost is prepped and good to go. We have this, and we're gonna learn computers on Tyrone. <laughs> Let's go see Allison and get her job done. Allison! All right, Allison's ready. We'll go buy a rucksack from these guys, hopefully materials. Get this job done. We might want to bring a gas can. The car is looking a little low. Do a little sensitivity check on the aiming. I, I gotta make sure it's copacetic for when a feral shows up. Sounds good. I should be careful of plague zombies around here. Let's trade, okay? All right. Materials. Perfect. And we'll buy these rounds. They're very cheap. Other than that, I think that's it. All right, let's go talk to Angel. Shop level two. We can now create our own first aid or our own repair kits. Our own first aid kits for the car. Alright, seven materials now. We're closer to our fighting gym. Okay, let's swap out to Tyrone again. How's it hanging? 
Would you mind handling things for a while? All right, we have no active jobs. We got that computer's outpost. We're free to foray into plague territory with a lot less risk involved now. Let's pick a place. You know what? If we need materials, there's no better place than right up here. It's dangerous. It's in plague territory most of the time, but we'll go over there and we'll clean it out. Uh, you know what? Just to be on the safe side, we're going to repair the car. We can now. We may as well make use of that. Don't need to be driving around with smoke coming out of the engine. Alright, let's head over there and see how many rucksacks we can get our hands on. Maybe get that fighting gym sooner than later. Got him. Start looting. There's no telling what we'll find here. Hell yeah. Okay, then. Most scavengers focus on big items. The trader quest. If we stock up on small comforts, it'll add up when we need to trade. Sometimes two of these buildings are lootable, but it looks like this time only the only the flatbed trucking area and the Plague Heart building are lootable. Plague Heart means awakened zombies that I have to kill on my way in there. Make this quick. Hey, hidden loot container over there. Probably unmarked. Nice. Yeah, it doesn't count as one of this place's containers. All right, there's our third materials rucksack. Nothing left to find here. I think we can do the fighting gym now. And that 20 HP, sometimes it really is the single thing that saves your life in a scrape. Here. I'm gonna scout this area. I need a break. Then we'll go switch to Allison, do the trader quest, and give them the generator. The certified humans. Level stealth. We get to search containers as recklessly as we want with Tyrone now. As long as this is plate territory, this place ain't never gonna feel okay. safe. Okay, we're getting pretty full up. Let's just drop that tattered green sticky That's note. Pretty take heavy. That. Another play card. I think that'll do it. Okay. There's a screamer. <sighs> oh, 
Honestly, I'd rather have that piece of paper than the bag of chips. It's worth more. Alright. Okay, running on empty. Smooth as silk. Alright, let's get out of here. This game sure does keep you busy. Okay, we have their portable generator. We're gonna give it to Allison. Always glad to see you. All right, geared up and ready to go. Certified humans, give them a generator, and then head over here and get a luxury item. Very simple run. Before we go, let's begin construction of our fighting gym. Sorry about your window. You're very kind. Goddamn right. Sure thing. I'll take the repair kit. I'll also take the gas. I won't be buying repair kits and gas very often, but, you know, early game, whatever. We'll do it. Now let's go do this quest over here. Aw, oh, they took my kill. Oh my god, he's right there. Poison. Pop him. <laughs> Shit. Plague heart stirred. All right, this game just changed. He doesn't have stealth. Let's go. Hoof it with dashes. This is that area where the play card got riled up. I better be careful. I can't take this back if I fuck it up. In fact, just in case. Son of a bitch. Not. Let's try to get them to run over here. Found something. Does that count as my luxury item? Please. <laughs> Maybe the house is clear now. Let's try. 
That's a lot of stuff that was in that is now not. Although it still sounds full in there. Yes. How the hell do I headshot this guy? I don't like that. Alright, let's get this. Exactly what I that's wonderful. Alright, that's the job done. Hmm. Let's go to the car. Before we wake up a heart. Oh god. Loader alert! Can't wake up now. Two jobs done. Fighting Jim built. We're doing well. Let's get her a little bit of reputation bonus. And we have to enact rationing again now that we're not depressed. Gotta stretch out those food stores. Keep that gas can. All right. Take over for me, okay? We may not be doing too well on influence to spend, but we're doing pretty well on sellable luxury items, I think. Yeah, we're doing all right. Okay. All right. Well, let's go down there and raid that place, and then on the way, we're gonna scout. Whatever we can. I know a shortcut to get here from the cell tower. I'll show you that shortcut. We'll scout that cell tower. And that cell tower. Alright, let's go. It's a slightly risky shortcut, but not too risky. So, from the radio tower, you go left toward this big uh, valley, and then you just drive down the hill. When you're at the bottom of the hill, you turn left. You pass this body of water. And then if you keep going straight, you'll get to a hill that goes right up. Right here. There's another way up, but I find this one's the safest. Whoa, a lot of plague zombies around here. I wonder here. if we can off-road this to shorten travel time. Probably not a good idea, but I don't even have to edit these searches anymore, they're so fast. Look at that. It's like editing that I don't have to do. Wow. One million troops. Wow. I never stop for this stuff, so I figure why the hell not, right? Luxury item. 
We'll scout that billboard and that, that cell tower on the way to where we're going. There probably isn't much point to scouting from here, given that we're going to cell towers, but this place might detect other places that the cell tower would not. Seems like nothing more to see here. <laughs> Doubtful. Alright, let's hit the road. We'll have daybreak soon, and then it won't be so dark all the time. There's a group of arms dealers nearby. Ooh! The selection is huge. But the prices are high. I have to go do that really quick. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Scout the cell tower on the way back from the place we're going to loot. All quiet. At least, as quiet as it can get this close to a play card. I think I'm undetected. Alright, let's clear this place out. I love that speed search. Not enough pockets for that. Alright, let's go deposit. Then we'll come come back for that rucksack. And then we have to get ourselves a good suppressor. Professional or advanced, I don't care, but we'll get a suppressor from that quest if we go do it. Alright. I really like the new curveball features to the game. I don't think I ever would have came to loot this place if it wasn't involved with the curveball. Now let's try to scout, but if it's too busy and there's too many infected, I won't bother. Especially since that screamer just went off. That like might be too many. Hmm. Quite a few. If I can lose them, so be it. If not, whatever. I may have. Oh. Gotta catch my breath. All right, I think we're okay. We can go scout at the tower. Somehow, we lost all that shit. And then we go do Warlord Weapons for All. No loot at this outpost. I found another play card. Seems like nothing more to see here. Well, we got some damn good scouting done. Let's go talk to Angel about that enclave of weapons hoarders that he found. Get ourselves a suppressor. Hell yeah, and then same thing, you go down, turn left, cross the water, and turn right. And if you recall, on the way over there it was the same thing, down, left across the water, and then turn right. Saves a lot of gas, a lot of time, a lot of trouble. Although there is always some risk with off-roading. Could be a bloater down there, right? Back to help. Boom. Let's go talk to Angel. 
get the skinny on this uh, Warlord Enclave. Alright, let's go check them out. That'll do. I wonder what that infection symbol over my base means on the map. Mini map right there, you see it? I don't know what that is. We have to drive past the heart that's significantly stirred in order to get there. I have to be ready to run over a screamer if I see one. I sure as shit can't let it go off. Not with this heart as stirred as it is. I've been reckless here. We're watching you. I oh, might be out of range of, of that heart. Here. But I don't know. Alright. I forgot to sell my shit. But I'll still be able to afford what I want. Hello. You looking to trade? Yeah, sure. Okay, what do you got? Professional suppressor, advanced suppressor, 300 bucks. There we go. You see that shit? Beautiful. I like the sound of that. Let's close this door, make sure I don't get snuck up on. Oh yeah, advanced suppressor on our sidearm. See, this is th this is why this is my favorite quest in the game. Three hundred bucks, measly three hundred. You get an epic sniper rifle that you can give to your guys, and you also get the advanced suppressor. <laughs> no, and I can't believe you're even asking. <laughs> the lovers of life. That's a weird name for an enclave. All right. Oh man. Right, because we all had it way too easy up until now. Hey, wow, let's buy this ammo. It's a dollar each. I guess it's fine if you want to walk around the place. Yeah, and as you can see, there's two professional suppressors in these other weapons. Oh, in fact, Jesus, that that one automatic weapon one. was a sidearm. Yeah. Want to trade? I sure. might want to buy that. Although it is only a clip capacity of 15. It's not that special. All right. We got a good amount of ammo, got a new gun, got a silencer, I'm very happy with that. Now let's loot this food and that food and go over here. We do have our sellables though. We'll sell off and then come back and do a loot run, as long as we're out of range of the heart that's almost woken up. Okay, that's all of our sellable luxury items. Hey there, stranger. You looking to trade? All right. There, we got ourselves a good amount of extra influence. Let's buy that repair kit. All right, now let's go do a quick little looting run. I'll go straight to that place. Oh my god. No. No! Okay, I guess we're good. He was right outside the bounds of plague territory. That was fortunate. Plague heart's sleeping in here, but there's loot in there. Try to wake up whatever's in here. My eyes are burning. Lure them outside. Is it empty? Looks like it could be. Little to no resistance in here. Preferable. Oh, 
fuel ruck? Nope, but that's okay. Alright. Now, I think there's lootable containers just out here on the road. Like, one of those simple parts containers, you know? Yeah, I'm definitely out of range of that heart that almost woke up now. Beautiful. Alright. Can loot one more place. Oh god, there's a lot of stuff right there. Oh boy, I actually managed to lose them. That's awesome. Let's hope it's quiet in here. Close the door. That was really great. Yeah, learning how to park and look quickly lose the zombies is a valuable skill in this game. Snackable, energy drink. Rucksack. That's weapon park. pretty heavy. Alright, we are out of space officially. So we'll just get out of here and leave this place incompletely looted. We got the ruck. I need a break. We'll come back later. Surprised he heard that from way over there. out around the car a little bit. Shooting level 3, very nice. Okay, let's get home with what we've grabbed. Very good haul. That was a wonderful trip. I had this aunt who lived somewhere Ooh. around here and fancied herself oh. a survivalist. Yes! I wonder if she's made it this long. I'm not feeling like anyone here really wants me around. Oh man, that quest, it's gonna get us not only what it is, in my opinion, the best gun in the game, but it's also gonna get us the best car in the game. Oh my god, I am a happy boy. Alright, let's get ready to go. Let's find Allison. yourself out there. All right. To take care of. Beautiful. So the gun that you get from this quest, it's 50 capacity. Huge magazine. You can put an advanced suppressor on it and it only I uses 22 like cal bullets. 22 caliber is literally a dollar each to buy from other enclaves. It's so cheap for ammo. It's Oh yeah, best gun. Best gun. 50 bullets, semi-auto, accurate, zoom, beautiful. And uh, the car that you get is a Jeep, and that Jeep has the best fuel efficiency in the game, with the largest gas tank in the game. With the handling of a Miragra. Beautiful vehicle. Larger trunk capacity, I can't wait to get it. We're gonna take our shortcut across the valley here. I'll show you again, so... We have the cell tower right there, we turn to the right. Just follow this dirt. Go down the hill. Try to avoid that. Uh, try to go, like, down diagonally so you don't tumble like I did. But then you turn left, cross the water, drive a ways, and then turn right. It's a lot easier to see the ramp up at, during the daytime. As you can see, it's right in your face. That seems like the right place to look around. Hmm... Aunt Kathy's house. 
Nice. Super perfect parking spot right there. Right, we don't have a stealth on her. Not yet. I think we have enhanced bolt recovery against these zombies. We take advantage of that. Beautiful. Resistance eliminated. Where the fuck is that better bolt recovery? Uh, hello? Anybody here? Whatever. We got a play example. Hmm. I'm gonna roll nice. Today. found one of my aunt's prepper plans. It's in code, but if I decipher it, maybe I can figure out where she went. This quest is usually glitched. There's always a container that's just empty. Completely empty. Probably this one. Better luck next time. Yep. Alright, let's uh, skedaddle. In the next quest, we'll get to grab her BOV. My favorite car in the game. For now, let's try to search that tartan mark right there. We do have the... We have the Plague Suppressor active. Materials in here. Maybe we won't search there yet. This place seems clear for now, but I know that won't last. Nice, an empty shed. Don't have to worry about sleepers. Is our fighting gym done? Yeah, it is. Alright. I won't start training our fighting yet. But we have 20 health extra. You wait. That 20 health will save my life once. Usually does. The thing is, when you remove the rest, like the infection resistance and the injury resistance, all of a sudden that 20 health from the fighting gym starts looking pretty fucking good. They're beaten to get out of there. Let that screamer bring more friends. Screamer where? Far enough away that I don't have to worry about it. I guess I'm empty. That's it for bolts. Just have to get this done. Get one back. Wonderful. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, you don't know me, but I'd like you to become my neighbor. Yeah. Here in Trumbull Valley, we're looking for good folks willing to work hard to rebuild this land. If that sounds like you, then I suggest you pack up your stuff and join us here. There's plenty to live for in Trumbull Valley. I just accidentally attacked a heart. Can you believe that? Oh, I guess this is the next heart I'm killing. Let's try to get that rucksack and then leave. It just summoned a whole bunch of shit to kill me. So stupid. All right. Oh, we got the ruck. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we don't have any jobs right now. Honestly, when you overlook the massive fuck-up of accidentally waking up a heart, we did pretty good. 
Anyway, I'll show you guys another shortcut since this heart's already awake. If you go up here, past Mike's Concrete, you see that hill right there? Yeah, you turn right down here. And then there's a path all the way down. Except when you come down over here, you're already past that body of water right there. So you go up this way after. Oh my god. As you can see, there's two perfectly feasible shortcuts to get through there. You don't have to drive around every time. An infesting horde is on the move. Alright. We'll have to take care of that eventually. We could allow the infestations to work for us in the farming of light crossbow bolts, right? But it's kind of far, that heart. I prefer to open a heart, or awaken a heart that's a lot closer for that purpose. But look at that, we have no more bolts for the light crossbow, pretty much. Alright, classic crossbow. Twelve bolts. How are we doing on plague samples? Seven. So we can craft one plague cure. One. We're doing really good on materials again, so I think either storage or the command center. We'll upgrade the command yeah, center. Quite a little infestation over there. All right. Nobody listens to me around here, and it's pissing me off. That's within range of another heart that is not awakened, so problematic. I'll tell you what, we'll we'll fight a heart. We'll get rid of that sleeping heart. He has the most health. And why is that? His fighting level? Yeah, it's probably his fighting level. But I'll take it. Alright. We and Tyrone, we're gonna kill ourselves a heart. What up, fool? What up? Take over for me, okay? Okay, now that we've got control of Tyrone. I'll be right there. Those guys want food. Whether or not I give these guys the food depends on whether or not they're a useful enclave or not. Like, there's one quest line where they just beg you for shit and they never give you anything back. We'll grab the supplies we need for the plague heart at this radio tower outpost on the way here. Oh, hey! Come on in if you want. I appreciate that. Alright, well, they're Sounds friendly. Dry, buddy. Looking good, by which I mean alive. I'll buy the repair kit for the car. I'll use it right now. More plague samples from Zeds. That could be useful. Hey. What I don't want is for those infestations to eventually reach level 2, so that more ferals harass me while I'm trying to kill that heart. Right? That's the worst case scenario, so... We're gonna gear up. Take one of those. Two of those. Two of those. Those. And one bag of chips. And, uh, I think that's just about everything, but we'll need a heavy weapon. Sledgehammer. Other than that, uh, be prudent to bring more ammo for our gun. Because, you know, this is... It's feral time. It's just about that time where I cannot avoid them, no matter what, so... Take that gas can. Refuel. And then we'll go take care of the problem that we created. At least we'll get more plague samples from that heart. Oh, shit. Another infestation's on approach. I might have to deal with a level 2 infestation before I can proceed to the heart. 
more infectious than ever. I don't like the sound of that. I don't want to stick around here for very long. That's down. I may have thrown off the handle a bit. Safe parking Sorry. protocol. Let's check the bloater. He might have dropped ammunition for us or something. Oh man, is that a screamer? Where? Okay. As quiet as it can get this close to a play card. It's time we resolved the matter of our own stupidity and cleaned up our mess. It's a lot of shit over there, but it's that less stuff that can loader. spawn after. Fuck, my eyes are burning. Okay. Let's do this then. Our feral. Pop one of these. Survivor, don't let yourself be convinced by conspiracy theories. Neither the army nor the government had anything to do with the outbreak. Take the headshot. Son of a bitch. Holy shit. Zombies are fucking fast. Alright, you know what? Fire in the hole. Slow him down. Reload. Come on, then. Well, that's one down. We got beat up pretty bad, but that's why we brought the bandage. Not keep this up. That's why I prefer to save my energy drink for after the heart's been damaged. That feral has to be dealt with. Cardio max. Acrobatics. We'll go with marathon. You're a horde. Stay away from Son the plague zombies. I'm not feeling too good. They're all getting stuck over there, I think. No, they're not. They're running around. At least we're getting bonus samples. Even if they are, they are more infectious than usual. I would throw a Molotov, but I don't want to blow up the car. We'll just use the bolts. Alright, we're clear. And look at all that. Good bolt recovery, good sample drops. Okay, we're going to use the bag of chips to buffer our sledgehammer attacks for this exchange.
Go. Drink that. Switch weapons. Holy shit. I don't like this at all. Barrels, man. Son of a bitch. I never said I wasn't terrible. My fucking energy drink is gone and he's still not dead. Oh man, my aim is not with me today. Come on. Take the headshot. All right, he's down. One more phase of the heart left to go, but we have no more Molotovs. Oh, son of a bitch. Alright. Gotta pop it. Maybe I'll just try to lose these guys and go to the heart. Oh my god. Son of a bitch. That auto grab, I hate it. Alright. Let's just go to the fucking heart, try to take it out. Independent of the. It, like, they don't matter. I have to go for it. Come on. Just like that, it's history. All right, let's go. Not exactly safe parking, but it'll get us out. All right. So, despite extraordinary difficulties, we managed to eliminate the heart. My aim was not with me today, but that didn't stop me. I never gave up, I came prepared with the right items, and we got it done. I've been playing with a new field of view and new mouse sensitivity settings, so my aim was... Well, I'm unadjusted, shall we say. One thing you guys gotta learn about me. I'm not skilled. I'm a professional fumbler. Alright, what is this? Alright. Look at all those plague samples that we have on us now. Beautiful. We can almost bulk craft plague cure. Let's get Tyrone home so he can rest. Okay, there's one. Hey, maybe you need to take some sick time. I'll switch to to what the hell is his name? Angel. Okay. Hey there. Let's check Tyrone in. I gotta sure he doesn't up. plague up while like we're trash. gone. Alright. So, the heart that we killed is down there. Pretty much that whole area is still plague territory. But, uh, you know, we defeated that one. It won't be creating infestations and making our life hard. Now, well, let's go do those. Bonesaw McGraw. Uh, I think that's in range of the heart that uh, is almost woken up, so I'm feeling ambivalent about doing that, actually. You know what? Uh, police station up here. I'd like to search that 
In fact, I'd like to spend a little bit of time cleaning out a bunch of the loot around there. Maybe we'll take the van out for a trip. Well, gas-wise, it's good. Just needs a repair. Look at that. It's flickering in and out of existence. It stopped when I looked at it, when I mentioned it. It's a quantum particle. Oh my god, the double slit experiment! This guy, I think, uh, leaves us a whole bunch of bullets just lying around somewhere. Even some guns. We'll have to keep an eye out for him. Can I even get through there? Well, we're about to find out. Well, it ain't exactly easy to get through there, but we can. Oh my god. Spoke too soon? No. We're good. Alright, we'll try to search this pharmacy and the police station. Get every valuable item that we can out of there. softened up. I can kill the rest myself. Community looking for ammo items. Zombies may drop ammo. What the hell? These curveballs, they can make your game ten, ten times harder or ten times easier. Just depends on the luck you get with them. It's clear, but I can't really secure this place with a plague heart so close by. Look at guys. This zombie's been disarmed. Place is empty. Better Mask move on. making kit. I don't know that I'll be installing that, but it sells for a good amount if we don't use it. May as well keep those on us. We're probably finding more. Alright, there's a plague heart in here, which means plague zombies too. I wonder if they'll see me here. Yeah, they definitely did. Let's go. Should be easy enough to lose these zombies with the hill right here. And then they'll all be outside the building. Two smoke grenades? Tyrone. My god.
That's an extremely good grab. Mechanical parts and parts from both of them. That was good. Containers in here. This just made my day. Search the armory. Flashbangs, very nice. Stack those meds in the trunk. Well, nothing outstanding from this police station so far, other than the flashbangs and 30 bullets. We got two more slots left. And we may end up finding the ammunition rucksack in there somewhere. I can't keep this up. I just have to make sure I don't click my mouse and attack this heart like the last one. Oh my god. Melee weapon. I'll take the bolts. I'll have to come back for the rest at a later point in time. Sucks that we couldn't nab that rucksack, but we'll get it later. You know what, let's scout while we're here. I think I want to touch that quest. Hmm. Builder quests, for some reason, they're just the most deadly quests. Like when you have to take your own Enclave member to a building with like four materials rucksacks in it. God, I always I get her killed. We'll have to come back here for that ammo, that sadly. But... Don't give that screamer a chance to yell. But we can stack the pistol ammo in the trunk. Okay, plague hard in sight. Okay, nothing more to see here. Ancient barn from Roman times. <laughs> Bag of chips. Don't even care about the bag of chips. We're good. I got some news. Might be worth checking that out. We could have a heavy vehicle upgrade hey guys, kit. I'm back. Got ourselves a bandito. I think that is the prepper aunt. 
note, so I can't sell that. Hey there, stranger. Come on in. Control. All right. Hey, how's life treating you? Got a little extra influence just in case the heavy vehicle upgrade kit is costly. If the mysterious wandering trader even has one, but that's definitely the sort of thing worth checking out when you already have a van. Okay. A working truck? Anybody home? I guess nobody's here. That is serious good news. Exhausted. Mm, do I refuel this truck? I won't bother. Ah, uh, yes I will. It's something, right? It's unlikely that we'll ever get stranded here, but if we do, I'd rather have this in working order to get me the hell out. We'll finish looting that place and then check for the mysterious traitor. But we'll only finish looting this place if we can park safely. That'll do. It's Looks like clear, we've gotten away with really it. Secure this place with a plague heart so close by. And I am very happy to say that this place is empty of zombies. There's nothing left to salvage here. Okay. I'm loving the free ammo. There's that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we have to go there. Here. I think we can help each other out. Oh, that sounds about right. Heavy vehicle upgrade kit. That's cheap. Damn. 375. I not have to run carrying all this. We do have discounts on everything, don't we? This would let us upgrade the Miragra as well, so I think I'll take it. Alright. Uh he's got some 50 cals, but 
Uh, they're extraordinarily expensive. I would... Uh, I have 3,000 influence right now. I could buy one, don't you think? It has zero quietness, but it's the kind of thing where when you have it for your base defense, you never miss it, you know? I think I'll buy one. We now have a 50 caliber rifle to assist with base security, and we still have... Oh, God. So obviously, I wasn't looking at the right number. I didn't have 3,000 influence. Like That's his influence. We are cleaned out. We have 352. But that's okay. We'll get more. I still feel considerably safer knowing I'll have this 50 caliber on us. What do you say to a bit of bartering? Sounds good. Okay. to leave the sample there. But, Screamer. Didn't I just hear a Screamer? Yeah, I did. Screw him. Bro, I'll do anything for a plague sample. You don't understand. And now there's two, right? Now there's three. Beautiful. We'll have that bulk craft of play cure crafted soon. Beautiful. Good. Got it. The supply drop is still there. We'll go grab it. After we've deposited at our outpost. I'm tired of driving past that screamer. I just want him gone. We're gonna have to not repair and not refuel the car for a little bit. Because once we upgrade it, it's mint condition again anyway. Not going far with all this. You know what? Quickly swap to Allison. Yeah, I don't care about the builder mission. Let's equip the 50 caliber on her. It's still in the trunk. It's not. Did I leave it in his inventory like a dunce? Yeah, I did. Alright. Alright, one of our Enclave members now has a very powerful gun. Let's go grab that ammo stash across the valley here. Feeling good and ready to work. All of his plague buildup is now gone, that's nice. That's nice stuff right there, huh? It looks quiet for now, but as long as that play card is nearby, the place won't ever feel safe. Terrific. You gotta make sure it's dead. Drop the screamer! Now! I don't know where the screamer is. Here, help me out with this, would you? Buddy, you're a lifesaver. <laughs> Literally. After you. Not really 
what I was hoping for. Whoa, check this out. Huh? I think we can help each other out. Why not? No, we can't. All right. Where's your missing friend? Oh. All right. Let's go there then. Um. Inventory space, we're d still doing really well, so I'm gonna head south and loot that defeated plague heart on the way. Run or fight. Run or fight. Definitely fight, but we're gonna have to use the car. Somebody just hitched a ride. Building the right facilities in your base is a good step. But the right improvement to that facility can really make life worth living. Well. Oh, yeah. We now have an experience boost for every single survivor's skills. Which is really going to come in handy. Oh, I hear a screamer. Alright. It's coming. Let's be quick here. Wow. Oh, these NPCs are oblivious. Oh god, this gun has really bad sway, actually. That's crazy. I don't think I could have cut that any closer. my breath we got a great amount of plague samples today really we did Get started, sooner we're out of here. Well, I'll use that painkiller. Another plague sample, look at that. Alright, let's get out of here. Take my special shortcut back to your friend over there. I better watch out for bloaters, though. That's this shortcut. I don't like it as much as the one over there because there's this narrow passageway here. The game could spawn anything there. And there you go, right? Like every now and then, shit happens, but shortcut. Let's get as close as we can. Alright, let's get out of the car. Damn, she's not even coming. Powerhouse. I'll take it. I really like Marathon and Stealth, but I always take Powerhouse when I can. It helps too much. With uh, plague hearts and pharaohs, you can drop kick them, right? Right, I didn't even want to use a repair kit on the car because we're going to upgrade it soon. I guess that works out in a shitty way, but at least we bought extra repair kits. Yeah, the sway on this gun is so bad. Like, look at that. That blood feral moves fast. Right by the fucking car. We 
You're gonna have to kill that. Around 40 meters is when it's likely to see you. Plague heart. This might just clear up. I might be okay to not have it detect me. Getting tired with Angel. It's gonna be time to sub him out. Looks like... Oh. He's coming. dead. Well, she's keeping it busy, so I'm just gonna GTFO and she can catch up. Let's just ditch. Well, I mean, the shitty part is you can't really grab the aggro of a feral away from an NPC. So it just leaves you with very little options in terms of actually dealing with it without someone dying. Like, I didn't have a melee weapon, so I would have been knifing it, right? And at that point, I'm just risking my skin for an yeah. NPC. Which doesn't seem bright. Vandito. Let's do it. And. Wichita S. Kajim Rajman. Alright, we have pimped out vehicles with improved storage capacity and armor. That is a happy day. If we had access to water, this place would be perfect. I don't really care about her hero bonus, so I don't think I'm going to be using her much, but... I definitely have to get everybody's shooting level up so that there's less sway aiming down sight. And I also feel like there's a little bit too much resistance on my mouse pulls. So I'll need to increase this a little. That might be better. More snappy. I'm best when I can snap. <laughs> oh yeah, we got beautiful vehicles now. So I suppose right now we'll try to rescue this bone saw guy. I'm not really a fan of the medical people, but you know, it's it's what the game dealt us. So that's what we're working with. How's rationing going? We need to enact it. All right. Oh shit. Well, I think he's screwed cuz I don't really want to end up waking up that play cart right there. And saving him would probably do that, so. I'm just gonna leave him. And if he's made of stern stuff, he'll live. Okay. I've wanted to check this place out. We can speed search again, too. Okay, then. Oh, beautiful. All quiet, at least. As quiet as it can get this close to a play card. Beautiful. Very good. Look at that, man. Oh my god. I thought he said this place was quiet. Maybe he meant the water tower. That's funny. Alright. Oh, three weapon parts in rapid succession. That makes really me very happy. I 
I found another play card. Are there survivors hold up in there? Oh, I wonder if that kitty still purrs. Oh, that spot could be ideal for an outpost. Seems like nothing more to see here. We've scouted this whole area. We're cleared to explore it and loot it in an informed way now. There's bonus loot over there that isn't marked on the map, which I would like to go get. This little stash right here. Wow, there you go. I guess he is made of sterner stuff, huh? Alright. Since he proved his metal, I'll go help him. That is a lot to carry. Beautiful. Beautiful. Level 4 in shooting means greater stability ADS. I think shooting improves your stability. Yeah, firearm sway reduction. That's why I'm not afraid to use a shitload of bolts. I mean, yeah, the bolts are valuable, but having a higher shooting skill is more important than conserving bolts. Running out of steam. We still got a full trunk that we can use, so we can extend this loot run a little. Ooh, I might kill those. Oh, this stuff must have generated in the trunk when I created the vehicle. All right, my bad. So we've wasted a little bit of space, but that's okay. What do we got? Alright. Oh, fuck, I gotta stay clear of that cloud. Nearby play cart stirs, huh? They couldn't see me, though. Oh, who knows? Maybe they could. We're gonna keep this loot run bravery train going. Well, at the end of this night, that's when we're going to be calling things here, guys. We played a day, a night, and a day in the first episode. We'll do a night, a day, and a night in this one. And then after this one, we will do a day, night, and day again. Full up. Let's head out. Ooh, repair kit. Well, you know what? We'll drop the one. Pl uh, we'll drop the one box of seeds for that. The plague sample has far more utility. And there's uh, one more container I'd like to search. Oh. Before we wrap things up for the day. The special briefcase found, I think, underneath the bridge oh, over there. A lot of plague zombies around here. Please don't wake up. Alright, the heart didn't wake up.
Son of a bitch. Always new shit here to worry about. Oh god. Nope. If I hear a feral when I'm trying to do something like this in Plague Territory, then I'm just gonna GTFO. <laughs> it ain't worth it. I don't want to wake up any more hearts. So for now, we'll deposit, then we'll check that secret loot stash that I want to end up. Ten out of ten driving right there. Hell yeah. Alright, let's go search that secret location. Oh, come on. My piss poor parking job right there. We can reach that spot going this way. Although the terrain is a little bit uh, finicky, tricky. to lose any Zeds I can instead of having to kill them, because I don't want to wake that heart. There it is, an awakened heart. Alright. So we fucked that up. Anyway, we got a dope-ass sword and a luxury item. And some parts. Well, I guess we're killing one more heart. guys well I think that just for the sake of adhering well to the timeline I'm gonna deal with that plague heart in the beginning of the next episode which is good because it just means I have an increased chance of fucking it up and dying all right the longer I play in a day the better I get but when I first start that's when I'm most vulnerable to shit so you holding up okay we'll start tomorrow with a plague heart How terrible our people have been feeling lately heal his infection. We have a powerhouse on Angel now, so we're going to want to get him tip-top, because we'll, we'll be taking him to fight the plague heart. Powerhouse changes everything. Makes it a very different experience. We'll take two extra clips for that. And uh, we'll prepare everything we'll need for the plague heart right now. Bag of chips, bandage, and then painkillers, energy drink, Molotov, we need plague cures. I can't forget a goddamn thing, we gotta be real thorough here. Alright, we now have four plague samples. I will take three with me. Alright, I think that's just about everything. If we wanted to simplify the plague heart, we could use a smoke grenade. I'll consider that between today and tomorrow. I never really use them, but uh, from what I've heard, they make it significantly easier. Now, I know Angel was getting tired. He was getting tired, so we're going to let him rest up, and uh, we'll take out that Plague Heart tomorrow. For now, I'll put the stuff that we're going to use to fight that Plague Heart into the Wichita. And we will take the van out for looting runs until Angel is rested and ready. But, if any infestations occur down near that plague heart, then we're going to have to take care of them, because it's a very small section of town. So if there's an infestation, like right here, and there's a feral and a juggernaut there, then they'll come over here when I'm fighting the heart. So I have to keep the infections or infestations under control. Maybe what we'll do is we'll take the van down there with Tyrone, first thing in the next episode, and we'll do a looting run and eliminate infestations as they appear. And then once this area's been sufficiently looted, we'll take care of that heart. Easy peasy, right? Anyway, I want to thank you guys very much for choosing to spend this time here with me today. 
I had a great time playing. I'm going to have a great time editing. And, Not the fun kind. Uh, and uh, I, I just really hope you guys enjoy it as much as I enjoy making it. Be sure to check the pinned comment down below for the word of the day in a health cookie. And don't miss the next episode because we're starting it with a plague heart and I'm probably going to die. But we're going to do our best until that happens. So thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace.